Celebration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast with Jose Noya and the returning. He is back with us, Ryan Boniface. How are you, Ryan? Good. Just like Jesus, I've returned on Easter week. <laughs> Everyone's reason to listen to this podcast is back. Oh, I love That's that. the only reason I'm here. Only reason I'm here. <laughs> the only reason I'm here. It's only why it works. <laughs> It's a miracle. (laughs) Only joking, of course. Only joking, of course. You guys are the best. We apologise to everyone for the declining quality that will resume this week on the podcast. After many weeks of Jose holding the talking stick, I'm going to come forward with a subject that is not a chapter from Stephen Covey's book. We will get back on that, I'm sure, though, Joe, if I'm right. This week, I want to talk about what you can control and... We've got a number of different podcasts where we've taken different twists on the circles of control, what you can't control, putting things out of your mind and not stressing them when you can't. Um, And I want to talk about the flip side of that, which is what you can control. And I've got I've got an example on this of something that's an epiphany. In fact, I had this morning um, around this sort of thing, which I want to talk through and then get a view from you guys and some examples on it as well. So to start with the what you can't control. So circles of control. Joe does this brilliantly. I used to have, a, there was an office that had this on a flip chart and I used to flick back to the di- same diagram time and time again um, for the example, which is a circle and a bit of paper. And what is in that is what you control, what you influence and what's outside of that, which is normally much, much bigger, is all the things you can't control. So what's the weather going to be? What's this person going to do? How's this person going to react to this? When will such and such happen that someone else is doing lots of things that you can worry about and build plans around and build contingencies for but all of which is completely outside of your control and you should not be worrying about fair assessment on circles of control jose yep it's all good very good in fact and i think conversely there's almost that human nature bit we talked about this a little while ago i think it was jose it was you and me when ryan was on his little excursion um, where we talked about the fact that almost, you, you know, the defence mechanisms kick in and there's a human nature around certain behaviours that you almost have to try and fight and turn the other way. And I think somewhat the, the earth control falls in that, where you you almost, it seems to be something generally people fall into the trap of trying to control all those things that are outside their sphere and you have to you have to fight against it. I think the converse is you can be almost blind to the things you can control. So where you've got to not focus on the things you can't control, I think you almost have to be as conscious of dealing with things you can control. And it's very easy to put up walls and barriers and excuses to not control the things you can. Ironically, well, sometimes you're going to grab hold of the things you can't control. Um, And I was doing a bit of this, and I'll use a real example. We don't normally touch on the work stuff, but this is quite generalised, where for the last few weeks, I've felt a bit less organised than I want to. And a big part of that is how many meetings and what's in the meetings are in my diary in each day. Now, every single one of them that I'm in adds value and it's worthwhile time and I'm I'm glad I do them. But I'm feeling a little out of control of my time. And then it just suddenly struck me that I need to take back that control of my time. I, you know, I'm responsible for what's in my diary. I agree to everything that's there. And I can rejig how it's looked and how it's set and how it's done. And actually, I've actually set some time out this week where I'm going to take a step back for an hour, almost start, have a list of what I need to do and a blank diary and slot stuff in a logical way just so I don't have that out of control feeling. But for a few weeks, I've almost been putting it down to, oh, there's so much going on. But actually that, that is one of the few things that's actually completely within my control, or certainly a fast degree of it's in my control that I can I can talk to people about what's going on. And it kind of led to this line of thinking of the irony of not taking control of what you can control, whilst also trying to take control of all the things you can't control. And I think as much as we've talked about that avoiding those things are outside your circle of control. I think you have to be just as aware and put in just as much time and just as much energy to grabbing those things that are in your gift and absolutely putting your energy and maximising them and not falling into the trap of seeing you don't control those things. Yeah. So enthusiastic nods. And I say I very much not only am wanting to you know demonstrate from my actions that I'm doing that, but I think there was a little period of time there where I almost was being a victim of something that I'm completely in control of. 
yeah yeah i'm just agreeing with you there and i don't know if there are any similar occasions that you guys have felt this or things where you've realized you do control things or you do it quite well or actually you're thinking oh s word ryan by the way joe did an actual s word on the podcast last week unbelievable you missed it. moment you missed it it's because you weren't here ryan moment. was it you was it read it. was it read in context of a book or was it his emotion no no it, his it was... own emotion of wow. his own actions i know yeah wow. I've been influenced yeah i do but have a little few it. things on this by the way okay um, I'll, i will stop badgering you and let you talk about stuff that people might like to hear obviously they like the badgering you aspect as well so this is really interesting because as i love as you know i love the circles of i think Stephen Covey calling them influence and we call them control very similar things because that's where the inspiration came from right and even today well actually my daughter needed a big big favor from me now it, with, with the circles and, and i remember Lee, during these because you had the, the center one with just was you just you you can control yourself and then as you go the circles go outside then that's the influence right so the closer the circles are to the center the more you can influence, but you can't control it, but you can influence it. So my daughter, she can influence me because she's my daughter, right? But she can't control me, right? Because she's not me. Because the only person really that anyone can control is yourself. Right? But you can influence other things. Now, we do get caught up in this whole trap of, like you said, Lee, of all, um, trying to think we can control things we can't control. And absolutely right. We tend to know, not really focus on the things we can control because we want to put excuses in the way because it's difficult. It's hard, right? We might think, oh, well, I've got to, I've actually got to dedicate some time to control my time, in which case I need to set, a, set, set aside an hour. But I've got all these things to do. But what I do refuse to do is actually sit down and actually prioritize these things, right? Because you have to be disciplined and that takes time and effort. And when things take time and effort, of course, the brain we already know, the brain already goes to easy, wants easy way. It always wants the easy way. So the key around all this is it's not always the easy way which works. It sometimes has to be hard. And going back to the story of my daughter, she, she needed me to do something that was really, really important. And the way she influenced me was to say, uh, Dad, I really need this thing because it's from my university. And it was it was a big thing. It was like you know, it was in a, a time extension needed. And so I had my daughter requested, but they refused it. So I had to get involved. Now I was in the middle of editing the podcast. Like I had loads of things to do, but because in my hierarchy, my daughter is very important to me. Of course, I dropped everything to do it. Now in that way, oh, sorry, my daughter I said the name. Now. Anonymous, your anonymous daughter. My daughter. <laughs> so my daughter, you know, does not control me. But I could say no. But I didn't. I said yes. I bet and... she has a different view on that, by the way, Jay. What's that? I bet she has a different view on whether she can or can't control you. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> of course she can. Yeah. Hundred percent. Because I would do I would do anything. I mean but the street is that I mean, I do have a choice, right? I could say no. I could say no. I could do no. I could say no, I'm not gonna do it. Of course I could. But your want to say no is much less than your want to say yes, right? What is that, Ryan? Sorry? Your want to say no is much lower than your want to say yes. Yeah. Your ability to say no is is it's hard. Di- it's it's di- lower than it me. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I want to do it, right? I wonder. It's hard, right? Because I had a lot of things going on, and but I did it because of the importance of the matter um, and to help my daughter because it was difficult at the time. So that's what I did. So I did drop everything and I did this thing to help. And in that way, this shows you that. Uh, my daughter did not have control of me but could influence me heavily because of she's my daughter so you know i could have said no in which case there was no control there so this is the thing so i suppose there's the answer in terms of the example that i've had really recently um in terms of you know having to drop i drop things i i chose to drop things and put things back because of that but then I had control over myself to do the hard thing that I knew I'd be behind on certain things, but I, I was willing to pay that price to help my daughter. And that's exactly what I did. So that's really little stories happened very, very recently in terms of you know, where we can control. I can only control myself. And from my daughter's perspective that they, she can only control herself, but she can influence me because I'm her dad. Right. And that's really, you know, it, but it doesn't go that. Sometimes in some of our family, you know, it may not, that, that hierarchy may not be there. And in other situations, that may not have happened. I um, mean, so depending on the importance of the matter, I might have pushed back and said no, in which case my daughter couldn't do it. I've done anything about that. Absolutely nothing, because I would have to do that activity. So, yeah, and I think we lose control of that. You know, we, we do tend to think, oh, 
Well, because they're my daughter, I can say, well, do that and I'll do it. But that is not necessarily the case. Uh, and when people push back, that's when we, when we get frustrated as people because we think, well, you should do it because of X, Y, and Z. But it doesn't always happen that way. And I think that's where you, when you have, when you have a model of the circles of influence or control, that's where you go, oh, okay, I recognize now why that's not happening because I don't actually control them and they are saying no. All I can do is heavily influence that. And other than that, if they say no, there's not a lot I can do. I've got, to, I've just got, I've got my hands tied and I've got to wait. Or I've got to just try something else. So yeah, um, this is really, really important because we can get super frustrated and waste a lot of psychological energy on trying to do in, influence things or trying to get things done when they're not actually in our control. And likewise, when we want to do things ourselves, we put excuses in the way because they're hard. So they're my, they're my two elements of that. So that's my explanation. And thank you everyone for joining on TikTok, by the way. Thank you very much. There you go. Um, there's... Yeah, and I think that second bit is the often unseen bit. It's in fact all that energy you can refocus it, if you like, into the things you can control or the things you can influence um, to to get to get the results or get what you're looking for or take more control over what you're doing. With me, it's just get a bit more control, sanity, effectiveness, if you like, over over time. Sometimes controlling um, emotion, isn't it? Sometimes it's like oh. It's like the 100%. emotional control. Yeah. Yeah. Your reaction, you can deal with that. You can't deal with someone else's reaction to you, but you can deal with your reaction to a situation 100%. Returning Ryan, what are your thoughts? Firm believer in that you can't always control what happens to you, but you can control how you react to what happens yeah. to you. And I think we've spoken about things like that before. Like as a as an active example that, that you guys have both used, like I've been away, as we all know, we keep making jokes about it. Yeah. Um, and... My work emails are a joke because I spent so much time away from my day job whilst also trying to half juggle my day job that I fallen unbelievably behind. There were times where I would marvel at the state of Lee's mail mailbox years ago and I'm worse than that. It's now worse than that. So I've become become the one thing I set out to destroy. And <laughs> um you become the thing you wanted to destroy. That's brilliant. That's a, that's a Star Wars quote, Joe. Um, what I'm struggling with is gaining the motivation to tidy it up because there's some semi-important stuff in there that I should probably be looking at. But nah, it's all right. I'll do it later. And that's it. That's my procrastination in me. And that's something I need to get better at controlling because I can control that. Um, yeah. What's difficult is I wanted to take this week off work again as the working example we're using. But my boss is off work this week because it was Easter last week. And that makes it very difficult because um, I'm my boss's nominated second. I think that's the word that we use. And he's not the only one that's off. Literally nobody's in. It's like Christmas. Easter and Christmas are always like this. So I took one for the team and I was like, oh, I'll just work this week. It's fine. And I shouldn't have done so. My out of office should have been on and I should have been sneaking a couple of hours every day tidying it up because that's that would have been what... Uh, that would have been what was sensible. I have today. Oh, oh Lee's left. Oh, carry does that on. Mean we're still okay. Yeah, we'll we'll be okay for the recording. Okay. The, the live might be a bit be a bit off. And I'm sorry. And today I set myself a target of clearing a hundred of them. I think I went back about thirty, um, because pressures of not pressure of the day job, but existence of the day job throws these things at you when you're at work. Right. What I need to do is what I'm going to do. And what I need to do is I need to go through the state of that inbox and start siphoning things off into their own folders on Outlook. Emails from X, emails about Y, or get rid of duplicates, people that are sending me chasers from three weeks ago because I've not replied and things like that. Get rid of those original emails and replying to those chasers and just clearing out a load of the, the fluff. And I think in doing so, I'll be able to break the back of it initially and right now yeah it's a, it's a mess and it's something that i really did not look forward to opening this morning and really got nowhere with today and you know if i had the motivation to do it i'd be online now sorting it out but i don't because whilst i may have been away for work to a nice different country i still had to work so i haven't don't really feel like i've had a break um i really thought lee would be back by now well, we can just go. Oh, on, he's, in, he's in the waiting room. 
in the way. Oh, getting back in. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's a really good point. I don't know if Lee heard any of that, but I, I really like it because that because that goes back to that, that self-discipline piece, doesn't it? Because we have procrastination. Everybody definitely suffers from procrastination at different times. And, um, and I say, the only way we can attack that is to attack whatever the thing is because yeah that's all we can do in fact you know one of the things that i like to do is to go if there is something i like to start to attack it even if it's like doing it for five minutes we talked about this before then even if it's five minutes it's better than nothing it's better like it's like better to go to the gym for like 10 minutes than not at all and again but it's hard it's not easy because the brain doesn't want to do it it wants to procrastinate and i think it's a really good point you raised there that you know you don't really want to do it which is no. the thing, right? Which is the thing, but it is something we absolutely control. And what you actually do there is is the excuse. The brain does come up with it. Well, I don't want to do it right now because I've been working. Or but but it's a valid for you. It's a valid excuse. I'm not saying it's not. It's just that whole thing. It's that constant battle that we all have with our brains to to try and get control of ourselves because that's where the big 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 value is in getting where we want to be. Right to get those emails sorted. It has to be faced. And of course, the longer we leave it, the more it gets more and more. And in fact, you know, me and my, me and my beloved, we've got like a, a filing pile and it's in a bag and it's exactly the same thing. I think it was like Lee's, you know, when Lee was talking about his yeah, under, I remember Lee's pile. under the desk, yeah. exactly I've the same thing. I've still got thing. a drawer. I've still got just, a drawer. I've still just got to a drawer. start, just to start. Yeah, just start. So if you're watching this, just start. <laughs> it's not easy, right? You just got to start. But no, I, I get it, Ryan. I totally, totally empathize with it. It is tough though. It's tough. And especially because you've been out and away and you, you know, you feel like you've been working all the time. You know, you do want a bit of break. And sometimes you do have to have that break. I think you said that before. You have to have the break. Then you go full tilt and then start. And you but you've got a plan, right? So it's great. To execute. It's good. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, Lee's tapping away on something. Do you want me to do something, Lee, whilst you're doing? Because I've got I want to do a little shout out to someone if that's all right. Go for it. Right. I want to give a shout out to Catherine. Um, went to a went out to a company called dreams and we selected a mattress and i just want to give a shout out to catherine if you're watching this because i know i gave you the podcast and the youtube uh, thank you so much for providing so brilliant service so if you're watching this uh, on my live here on tiktok uh, or if you catch it back on youtube please put a comment in please know what you subscribed because and I know what you want to do. You want to get into leadership, and there is tons of leadership on this. So thank you very much, Catherine, for wanting to take the details down. I'm looking forward to receiving your comments and any views you've got on the podcast, anything you want to talk about. So again, if you're looking into leadership, let us know what, the, what, what you want us to talk about, and we will talk about that. So thank you, Catherine. From Dreams is a company in the UK that sells mattresses and beds. Uh, thank you so, so much for your service. Really appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. There's my shout out. You shout out somebody from a mattress company. Absolutely, yeah. They were very, very All helpful. things happen on Joe's mattress, Ryan. But the magic happens. You two have to bring down the exactly. tone, you two, didn't you? That's what it's all uh, about. On, on TikTok, if you're enjoying the Lee and Ryan dropping the tone of the podcast, then feel free to pop, pop, pop a like in the in the live on your on your TikTok, please. Come on, let's have some likes in that TikTok because Lee and Ryan always provide some good entertainment. Come on, put some good, good put some put some good likes in there. Come on, people, let's go. Let's some likes in the old in the old uh, TikTok. Let's go, Lee. Anything from you? Right, we um we hit some technical glitches as you can tell by my disappearance. We lost. We've got half a live now on YouTube, but normal podcast channels will remain. I don't know why I'm saying this because if you're watching or listening to this right now, you know that it remains because that's where you're watching us. This is but why back, we always worry. back up with the record. I remember when we first started doing these lives and Lee was like, do we need to record? Yes. <laughs> do we need is, to record? And this is why. They were two spot on um, impressions there. I love that. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, so what, what have you got any more, Lee, on this? Because I know, did you, did you, did you, so just quickly, <laughs> while we mention the live, I will say that each and every week, YouTube, Jose Noy Inspiration Nation, TikTok, Jay Noy underscore Inspiration Nation, Hit follow, hit subscribe. We will tell you when you're going live. You can get involved with the podcast, ask questions, join the conversation. And of course, we are on all podcast platforms and YouTube as a whole. There'll be soon be some podcasting bit on there. Joe sent me a link and I'll reference it on air right now. And I look to get that set up. There's like a dedicated podcast channel on YouTube. So we'll be exploring that in the next few weeks as well. And of course, inspirationnation.org.uk for everything to do with the podcast. Right. Thank you, guys, for indulging my take control, not just don't worry about the things you can't control conversation. 
Um, appreciate the views there. I've got most of what you were saying, Ryan. I joined on TikTok. See, Joe, the TikTok, even I'm on there listening to what you're saying. Love it. So I, I caught most of the most of what we were saying there. So you want to claim my inbox out for me? Uh, no, no, I do not. Yeah, well, thank Although, you for your help. <laughs> <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs> I think it's just, you know, for that message to leave people, I think it is that as much as we talk about not worrying about the things that are outside your sphere, think, you know, not making plans around what can't be controlled, being prepared to pivot and change and have a, you know, an end point and join the process is day to day. Remember what is in your gift, what can we influence, what can you control and put your energy there. What what is something actually that's hindering you that you might be able to take responsibility for? And even if that's just one thing, one small thing, one thing a week, all those things I think can really help maximise your potential or other such strap lines that would sound great on the start of a book. Mm. Can I ask you a question, Lee? Take away, you can most certainly. I mean, it's, it's weird because I'm the one so who asks the questions, but you go for it. Well, so the question is, because you said you want to take control more of your time and you referenced about yeah, probably four episodes ago, was it three, about backlog your life is this something now you're using is this now because i thought well the backlog would solve that problem but it clearly there is still something going on how are you using the backlog i suppose to deal with the lack of time or the more concentrating on time so the and just to, to reference on that like you said backlog your life is still i'm work so each month i have that of outside of work activities or things i want to do not do add them to the list start working through them i mean month four now it's going going quite well i would say without stepping into it too much but the idea for it comes from something i do in work and that that still takes place the bit i think i'd, I'd lost a handle on was it's meeting times so my scheduled things that happen daily weekly monthly whatever and then almost scattergunning things into the gaps that are in between them rather than having a plan around organizing that so it's it's like a subset of activities, if you like. So these are things that are off the backlog and are in work. And I think, I say, I just, for me, got to a point where I'm not scheduling that as well as I could be. And I think I kind of not, it's my schedule. I can deal with that. Okay. So what you mean, you overschedule yourself with the yeah. things? All right. That's okay. Well, I just want to understand that because, yeah, okay. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, you're trying to ram things in when actually you maybe need to would they maybe have needed to stay on the backlog then? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. They're not just because it's and, and I don't go too far into all the details, but this isn't just me having a to-do list for the day. This might be, oh, there's a project meeting about this or a catch up about this, yeah. or can I just have half an hour of your time to do this? And it was kind of yes, 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 yes. And suddenly my whole day is full of activities, meeting. most of right. which are on meetings with people. And being a bit like, oh, it's a crazy meeting day today, but almost verbalising it as if I've got no control over the fact it's a crazy meeting day. And again, they're all things that need to happen. But you see now, I mean, my it might be down to what I look at, but my LinkedIn is just full of things based around like chat GPT, but like, oh, we can organise your days, we can make you more productive. And a lot of these virtual AIs are almost around organising your day in the most constructive way which I think a lot of us could probably just do that ourselves as well. And I think I'd not, I'm not taking a step to say, oh, I'll get in a virtual assistant to schedule my day for me. But I also just won't be at the mercy of whatever happens to crop up. Mm. I also think so virtual, should... virtual yeah, assistants course, don't take into account the human factor either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that, that's not a, not an avenue to explore. But I'm, I'm my rough plan, it might not go like this, but where I have scheduled things, especially in Project World, you do a lot of daily catch-ups and stuff, is to kind of set everything that's a regular thing into the morning and then leave the afternoon three for either activities or that's where the ad hoc stuff comes into, whereas at the moment they're kind of scattered through the day. And then you, all you do is start, things start filling up the slots or you just have half an hour here or there and it's hard to focus on doing something when it's all broken up. So I'm going to kind of condense down the schedule stuff to the start of the day and leave the afternoon open for the ad hoc rather than it's a mix of both at the moment and it's not really working. And again, I can make the choice to do that. I just hadn't done it until now. Brilliant. Can I just give a shout out to Hugh R? Just like this live massively. Thank you, Hugh R, on the, on the TikTok. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Shush asked what we're talking about. We're talking about circles of control. So just to answer you in that there. So there you go. 
Um, and Lee, is this something that you, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm curious about you over scheduling and whether this is something you could add to the back your, back your, backlog your life tool. Is there something in there that you it might need to build Quite on the back Potentially, of yes. I think that's a good idea. Because that could be another addition to it that, you know, it could be like a sort of some sort of framework that, you know, when you do this, this is something that you need to consider. Not do, but consider maybe perhaps. Yeah. The only thing I'll throw in is I think it's somewhat situational as well, because what might be a good way of structuring the day now, think, you know, things might change and it's it's not the best thing. Because like what I was what I'm doing now wasn't an issue three months ago and it might not be in another three months. It's just mm. right now it's not quite working. So again, it's that it's about that kind of being agile and being adaptive thing as as well. And I think there can be a number and tiny is what you say. I think there could be a number of different frameworks, and then it's taking what one works at a time. Ooh, and you know, I like not that. being afraid to change. Do you know in the, the Excel sheet? I think you put an Excel, like you put the frameworks in for those tabs of the of the, of the shit. I don't know what it would be like, but like you could put those in. I don't know. It just feels like you could have like frameworks depending on situations. I quite like that. That definitely be helpful. This is the new. We're, we're live brainstorming the new Inspiration Nation book that will be coming. Well, I love that. The tool is great, and I still want to have a copy of it. By the way, because I still don't think I don't have emailed a copy of it to me yet. Anyway, that by says another question. Can I ask you another <laughs> question? Got nine minutes. Can I ask you another question? Go, go for it. Right. Did you watch the video? We don't have nine minutes. We've got about did, two, did, and I'm going to wrap did, us up. So did you watch it. the video I sent you? The link. Did you watch it? Pursuit of Wonder. Link about the the thought experiment. Which video was this and when did you send it? Clearly I mean, not. Then. No, that's, but... a no. Clearly not. that's a no. Clearly not. <laughs> clearly not. That is a no. What that is, is a big fat no. That is clearly not on the backlog of your life tool, clearly. Not so right now. Because when mean, we just, talked about... Just to be clear, when you're, when you're friends with Joe, he sends you a lot of stuff. So let's just... <laughs> I, think I haven't sent that much lately. Come on. It's not that much. Is this only, that's the only thing I've sent you, isn't it? Come on. You're the only person I know whose WhatsApp message is spread to two messages because you put in too much text. Yeah, that has happened. <laughs> Does it really? Oh, yeah, shit, really? Does happened. it do that? Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies already. But yeah. Which video was, really was good... this, Joe? Was, was, this, was this the... The thought experiment. You know when you said that everyone thought the same, a bit of friction because of innovation, and then I sent you this video about how if, if we all thought the same, it would cause us problems as a society. I thought it was really interesting, really, really good. I thought it was great. The algorithm effect, is that the one? Yeah, that's it. So anyone who's on here TikTok, I'm going to give them a picture of Pursuit of Wonder. Go watch uh, the, um, what was it called again, Massa? What was it called? It's Leech called the algorithm effect. There you go. Algorithm effect. There you go. Lee has actually seen the link. So there's definite evidence that, that, that he, Lee has seen the actual <laughs> link. We're just going to just check up next week to see actually whether Lee actually does watch the video. And it's probably going to blow me away to next week to go. Well, at Jose, I've actually watched this, and uh, do you know? And at least going to blow me away to know it. Yeah. Just, but anyway, Lee, thank you for being so honest. By the way, I do it's appreciate eight your honesty. Eight and a half minutes. It feels like a long bathroom visit. I will. I will. Get that <laughs> I didn't know about you. Be know about your bathroom <laughs> habits. To be fair, <laughs> you don't take the phone to the loo, do you? No. What are you Come talking on. about? What's that? That's what it's for. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't take my, well, I suppose. Is, do I take it? I don't, but I don't ever, don't use you do, it. You, is this is what this podcast, like it's 1995. Is this what this podcast has become since I've left? Yeah, it brings back to some Time, sanity. please, gentlemen. Time. <laughs> oh, go on, Ryan. <laughs> Comes back in here, giving dick to, Ryan's coming here, throwing his weight around now. He's just giving... Anyone who is still listening to our insane ramblings, we sincerely thank you. Um, at listen to I N, listen to I N, inspirationnation.org.uk, and just put Jose Neuer into Google. Make sure your safe search is on, and then click on any of the links that come up, and you can join <laughs> Joe on social media. Oh, Ryan's laughing already. You can see he's cracking up in the background already, going, What's going on? And, and Ryan's eating now. What are you having tonight? What are you eating? I've got he, chili. he won't stop, will he? I'm just going to override Joe. Guys, going to count us down everywhere. No, you can't do that. Three, no. Three, no. two, no! One. Inspiration, Inspiration Nation. Nation. Catch, Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. later.
let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions of what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.